What's up guys, welcome to your 182nd Android tutorial for the new Boston. And just quickly uh, to show you guys what error I was having, uh, for this one I said 631 and it's supposed to be 632. So if you guys followed along exactly like me and jumped off the same bridge, well, uh, that's the that's the error you want to fix. And what we're going to do in today's tutorial is basically add some rotation uh, to our object so we can kind of see that it is three dimensional and uh, it's going to be pretty simple. So we're going to go into our GL or renderer class uh, whether you guys created a new renderer for our cube renderer or not um, we're just going to add some rotation and how we do this is pretty simple we're just going to say GL again relating to the GL10 object that we're going to pass in we're going to say GL rotate and we're going to use the F for float and the first parameter here is the angle so we're just going to say um, I don't know whatever angle you guys want and then we're gonna say which axis it affects so so if you guys want it to the rotation to affect the x-axis uh, we can just put like one um, and if we don't want it to affect affect the the y-axis we're gonna put zero and the z-axis will also have it affect that as well or actually let's just do uh, zero as well for that and there we go we had some rotation and let's just copy this and paste it as well and this time we're going to add like a rotation to the Z axis, something like that, just so you guys know you can break it up as well. Um, put one here, and let's just run it, see how that looks. And we're also, and I'm also going to show you guys another just quick tip that you can actually relate to um, the actual time. It was what you're going to want to do when you're working with like velocities and such. You don't want to just have it run off the system because your CPU might be slowing down and uh, all that good stuff so you actually want to you want to run it off of uh, real time instead of uh, CPU time so hopefully we can run this application it's kind of taking a while here and the emulator crashed awesome so hopefully that wasn't our fault but uh, I don't think it was alright it's about time and also, we're probably only going to do a few more OpenGL tutorials. Like I said, I'll probably show you how to texture that triangle. And then we're going to get into just uh, some easy stuff for the most part. So as you can see, it's it's rotated a little bit in the X direction and a little bit more in the Y or the Z direction. So, you know, that's cool. But uh, we want it to rotate um, consistently. So what we're going to do is we're going to rotate according to time. This is a little method or a trick that I learned from uh, basically the Google developer page. Again, I highly suggest by now you guys can probably read through some of that code and learn a lot through uh, the sample code that they have to offer. But what we're going to do is we're going to set up a variable called time and it's going to be a long. I'm just going to say long time like that and we're just going to refer to the system clock. So again, just system clock. If I believe we did something like this uh, with our stopwatch application and we're just going to say dot update time and we're gonna get the modulus of this so we're gonna divide it by 4000 L and then we're gonna say float angle and we're gonna set this equal to 0 0.009 F times uh, times the nth value of time so there we go now we have our angle set up which is gonna change according to the, the actual time. Like I was talking about, when you guys develop games, you want to refer to your game according to real time instead of system time because, again, the CPU can slow down um, and you know your game won't play very well. So you'd rather refer to something that actually relates to real time, something like this, this uh, setup here. And all we're going to do for angle is we're just going to say angle, angle here as well, um, which, I, which I guess we can just say, you know, uh, one or or two um, so now I'll spin a little bit faster in the Z direction as well um, so let's just run it and hopefully we get this to work doesn't crash our emulator again and again um, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys as you can see uh, add some rotation which being which is being updated by real time so there you go that's pretty much uh, your introduction for the 3d uh, OpenGL stuff. I know it went kind of slow, but 
hopefully you guys understand OpenGL a little bit more and then we're gonna get into texturing that triangle and then probably something else and then we're just gonna wrap everything up add some ads to our application and put it on the marketplace so that's what you guys have to look forward to and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial hope you have a good one see you later